The aid charity UNICEF, along with the government of Malawi, are leading a trial based on the use of drones to reduce waiting times for HIV test results in infants living in rural areas. Malawi has a national HIV prevalence rate of 10%, still one of the highest in the world. There are many delays in the continuum of getting HIV positive children on treatment. They need to come in early for testing, ideally before two months, between six and eight weeks. Their tests, the dried blood spots, need to get from the health facilities to one of the eight laboratories nationwide. The drone is able to carry up to 250 tests or one kilogram of samples at once. The recent first successful test flight completed a 10-kilometer trip traveling between a community health center and a hospital in the capital. The results, once they're available, then need to be brought back to the health facility and communicated to the mother. And while many efforts have been made to shorten each leg of that continuum, we need to do better. Mothers are still waiting up to two months for those test results, and that can be a very long period in an HIV-positive infant's life. In 2014, around 40,000 children in Malawi were born to HIV-positive mothers, according to UNICEF. Every year, around 10,000 children die of the virus, a number that could be tackled with early diagnosis and quality medical care.